Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Magic Acre. My name is Maya. This is my son, Alex. Hi. Today is Father's Day. So today I wanted to make something that my husband grew up eating and I grew up eating as well. Now my kids love. Um, and that is palachinka. They are just crepes, but they're so versatile. You can put meat on them, eggs on them, cream cheese, or you can go the other way and do so, uh, sweet ones, which is like honey, jam, Nutella, whatever you like, whatever you have, you can put on them and they're so good. So if that's something you guys are interested in, just keep watching. Okay guys, so we are going to start with two cups of all-purpose flour. Um, I've never tried it with any other type of flour, like almond flour, coconut flour. So if you guys do try it, uh, leave a comment in the description box to kind of let me know how it turned out and then I go on to add two cups of milk I actually end up adding a little bit more milk throughout the recipe so in total it's four cups of milk so you can add that now and if you don't have milk or you guys are dairy free then feel free to substitute with almond milk or coconut milk or even water when I was growing up we only used water we never had it with milk so it's delicious either way and then I add one egg into there and at this point I realize that it's just this bowl's way too small um so now you're going to and that's just the extra milk that I've already accounted for now you're going to whisk 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 Okay guys, time to cook them up. So you're going to grab a frying pan. I use the small one. Um, I just find that my kids enjoy the smaller crepes more. And then you're going to grab some vegetable oil or canola oil. You want like a tasteless oil. You're going to put the smallest dap in there. And then you're just going to kind of work it around just like that. If you have, I ran out of paper towels, but if you have a paper towel, you can just dip a paper towel into your oil and then just kind of smear it in there. Works really well. And then you grab a ladle and you just pour it in and move it around with your hand. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Look at mine. Also, I forgot to mention that my heat is set to a medium low. So at first I set it to high to kind of heat up the pan. Once the pan is nice and hot, I turn it down to medium low. And then you'll see the crepes will have like a nicer color. That one was my very first one. The pan was so a little bit too hot. Um, and also, if you throw out your first one, it's okay. Growing up, we always knew that the first one was garbage, and then the second, third, and so forth would be better. There's my flipping fail, but you can always save it. Just quick, quick, there, and it's still good. So now I'm just going to show you how I make, I think it's just four more. In total, this recipe gave me 30 of these little crepes. So if you use a large frying pan, I think that you would get about 15, maybe 10 to 15 of the large ones. everyone now it's time to dress them we like to dress them with philly cream cheese and a slice of mortadella i always take off the outer circle of my mortadella i don't know if you guys do that i just find it really hard to chew so i always take it off that's why the mortadella is not a perfect circle and then traditionally you're supposed to roll them up like this and then you eat them like that but i find if i put like honey or jam or jelly inside It'll ooze out the bottom for my kids and make a big mess. So I always fold them into those little triangles to kind of prevent everything from getting messy. And then I didn't have any Nutella today. I had this Lino stuff. So I put, which is also a hazelnut spread. I put that on, I fold it. And there you have it, guys. I hope you try this recipe. I hope you enjoy it. My husband also took some to work today and that was what you had just seen. What's your favorite kind? Uh, the salty one? that has cream cheese and um, meat. 